Welcome back to News Weekly. A case of exploding mangoes has been on the shortlist of the prestigious Booker Prize and is now on the shortlist for the Guardian First Book Award. Joining me now in the studio is the author Mohammad Anif. Assalamualaikum sir, it's an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to have you here. Um, you previously were on the Booker shortlist and then now the Guardian shortlist. How stressful are these awards? I mean, it seems like maybe authors might not be as appreciative of them as the the dispensers of the awards might think they are. I was I was on the Booker uh, long list, and since this is my first book, uh, the problem with the, these kind of uh, awards is that as a first time author, obviously you don't expect any of this. Right. You're just hoping that you know sort of your book will get out there, you'll get some nice reviews, and uh, you'll sell some copies. But when you get onto these lists, then you secretly start thinking, my God, maybe I can win. <laughs> uh, so because yeah. whenever you talk to yeah. people about that, they always say, no, no, it's just good to be <laughs> yeah, there. So yeah. that is and, there. And then, and then somebody will come along and they'll say, oh, well, it's honor enough just to be on the list. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, sort of, oh, isn't that great that you we were on the list? And stuff like that. And then you sort of tell yourself, well, actually, winning is much better. Yeah. But, but having said that, I mean, I think all these awards and all these lists, uh, I think they have a purpose and the basic purpose is uh, to sell some books. Increase uh, so Yeah, to sell some books and, and as a friend of mine in London was pointing out that if your book has been shortlisted for something, so let's say there are five judges, so you are guaranteed that five people have read that. Five people have read, comps five, 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 yeah, five people have read uh, read the book. So so I guess that's 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 a purpose and I think right. that, that kind of, you know, sort of that goes on. The character you chose to create sort of is, I mean, Ziaul Haq is a person who notoriously, even historians, I'd say, have been too afraid to get into his head. There's a, a marked lack of biographies, for example, of Zia. Um, there's a lot of talk about what he was like, but nobody ever actually tries to research him past a certain point. You actually went into his head, or at least how you perceive is that that must have been a scary place to be. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's a very comfortable area to be lounging it was, around it was, in. It was a fun place to be, actually. <laughs> no, I mean, the dictator <laughs> in you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's all my kind of secret fantasies that, that I've uh, put down on the page. I think you're right. There are not very many biographies. There are some. Actually, I did try and research. Right. There are some books about him or about that period. But the problem with those books is that most of those books have been written by people who were very close to him, like former generals or, or, or bureaucrats. And if you read those books, he comes across as this really banal, boring, dull man that nothing ever happened in his life, you know? So he was just this humble, God-fearing man, you know? So, and, and that's it. So that is like really no use to a fiction writer. So basically I said, okay, enough of this research. I'll just forget it and I'll just make up my own journals, yeah. It's, um, we just saw the end of another dictatorship in Pakistan. We're now in that, in that transitionary democracy period which we like to express every few years and enjoy for a little while. Do you think this time it'll last? Do you think this time it seems like it'll last longer than the last eight-year run that we had a democracy? Well, I hope it does. But uh, with the last time we this uh, martial law came in, General Musharraf came in, I mean, before that, I was in journalism at that time, and there seemed to be this uh, this consensus amongst all the pundits, like, you know, sort of those people in Islamabad, you know, sort of who know everything about right. everything, that no way, we can never go back to military rule again, and look what happened. Uh, and we were stuck uh, with him for, what, nine years. Right. So, I mean, my, I hope that uh, we won't go back to those days. I hope that uh, our politicians have uh, learned something, and I hope that we have people in the media and people kind of, you know, who, who generally... The man in the street, even, yeah. The man in the street, and especially people like us, who, you know, sort of have a bit of space either to write in newspapers or have their own TV shows. Uh, because I think we are the kind of people who, who, who kind of start this, that, oh, this is not working out, let's try something new. We need patience, and, basically. And I, I won't say that we should stop criticizing the government. We should get up and criticize this government every day. Uh, but I think we should also remember that where we have come from and where we might end up again. Right. Um, and now to end things on a slightly ridiculous note, you know, because this is a comedy show at the end of the day. Um, case of exploding mangoes. Mangoes. Chosa, Sindri, Langra, which one is your favorite? I don't like mangoes at all. Really? <laughs> no. Well, uh, <laughs> you and I can, I, can, I can have processed mangoes. I can probably have mangoes flavored ice cream, but no mangoes. So not that's the most fruit. depressing thing I've heard. <laughs> mangoes not on my fruit. <laughs> case of exploding mangoes, you're going to get it anywhere that you look for it. And um, it's in all stores. It's doing very well. Mohammed Anif, sir, thank you so much for joining thanks us. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you so much for being here. 
And this uh, wraps up this edition of News Weekly. If you find any news stories worth mocking or just want to send me your comments, suggestions and feedback, write to newsweekly at donews.tv. And remember, you can go to youtube.com slash newsweekly and keep watching your favourite clips of News Weekly over and over and over again. I've said News Weekly too many times. I'm Samisha. Thank you for watching.